Tonight, controversy at a Clarkstown town council meeting this evening as the town supervisor tries to kill the term limits law that's keeping him from running for re-election. And our Ben Nandy was at that board meeting tonight and he joins us live with more on why people on both sides of this fight are so upset. Ben? In most communities, the first town board meeting of the year just deals with standard items like basic financials or appointments. That is not how they are doing it in Clarkstown. About 50 people crowded the auditorium at Clarkstown Town Hall to let Town Supervisor George Homan hear it. You ostensibly will do absolutely anything to hang on to power, to cheat, to steal, change the rules. Homan is trying to overturn a law that limits elected officials here to eight consecutive years of service. Homan and Councilman Donald Franchino are suing the town. They want to nullify the term limits law because the public never voted to approve the change. That would allow Homan, who has been in office nearly eight years, to run for supervisor again this year. I don't know what you're saying. You don't understand. I said several times. Homan and Franchino are also trying to overturn the law with a council vote, hence this public hearing. You can't invalidate just a portion of a law. The entire law must be invalidated. So if we're going to have term limits, let's do it the right way. We recently reported on the tension in Yonkers as the city council narrowly voted to extend term limits so Mayor Mike Spano could run again. Back in Clarkstown, there isn't enough support on the board to change the law. Council members Frank Borelli and Patrick Carroll aren't having it. My issue is not term limits. My issue is hypocrisy. If you really want, and I said, if you really want to lift term limits, then lift them in 24 when the people who put them in place are not on the board anymore. Many are especially upset because when this term limits law was originally passed in 2014, then Councilman George Homan voted for it. So to defend themselves in this lawsuit, uh, council members Carol and Borelli did agree that the board should hire an outside attorney to avoid any appearance of conflict or impropriety. If they were to do that, it would be paid for by the taxpayers. Ben Nandy, News 12, 